Welcome to QViews, your number one source of quantum technology news. Today, we're going to talk about the newest advances in funding in quantum networks, Quantum Computing Inc.'s acquisition plans for QPhoton, and on the research side, companies that are tackling climate change and car racing analytics. So make sure to subscribe to this channel for the latest and greatest quantum technology news, and go to the Quantum Insider for even more. This segment is brought to you by Bleximo. Bleximo is developing full-stack superconducting application-specific computing systems, co-designing hardware and software for shortened execution times and faster operation to achieve quantum advantage for high-value problems in global logistics, aerospace, pharmaceuticals, advanced materials, and energy production. First, let's look at what's happening on the business side of the quantum technology landscape. Quantum Computing Inc. announces an agreement to acquire QPhoton. Quantum Computing Inc.'s mission is to boost optimization performance using quantum software. QPhoton has developed a set of quantum systems based on photonics. QCI's main efforts have been to develop a platform that would be agnostic to the proliferation of quantum processors now entering the market. The goal is to work with QPhoton's technology to create a full-stack quantum company. Next, QConnect, a quantum networking company, has been awarded two SBIR grants totaling $1.85 million from the Department of Energy. This will help QConnect further expand their suite of quantum repeater products. The first product is the quantum memory to store quantum information. These awards support the commercialization of the second essential device, a source which generates entangled photon pairs for quantum secure communication protocols and the basic research underlying a second type of quantum memory. Quantware and Quantrolox are partnering together. Quantware develops, designs, and fabricates scalable superconducting quantum processors. Quantrol Ox's automated machine learning-based control software for quantum technologies tune, stabilize, and optimize the qubits. Together, they aim to speed up development of open architecture quantum computers. On the research side, companies are tackling quantum telecommunications, climate change, and car racing analytics. Researchers have succeeded in teleporting quantum information across a quantum network. This differs from prior work because instead of just teleporting or moving the quantum state from Alice to Bob, this research demonstrates qubit teleportation between non-neighboring nodes in a quantum network, from Alice to Charlie, which is a building block of the quantum internet. For more information, check out this video that QTech put out called From Alice to Charlie, the next step for the quantum internet, and the link to the paper will be in the description below. SciQuantum backs an initiative to use quantum computing to develop climate change technologies. This initiative, named Climate, is a net-zero initiative that builds partnerships to develop and scale decarbonization technology breakthroughs. Climate is partnering with business, government, and philanthropy to deliver on this mission. Zapata Computing is partnering with Andretti Autosport's race-time analytics infrastructure for quantum readiness. The goal is to explore potential use cases in the automotive racing space to see where quantum computing can give an advantage. That can include deploying a hybrid infrastructure that leverages both cloud and edge computing, developing enhanced visualization capabilities to accelerate decision-making on the racetrack, and exploring acceleration and enhancement of optimization tasks. This includes quantum-inspired and quantum-enabled algorithms. Thanks for joining us over here at QViews, and see you next time for the latest and greatest quantum technology news.